Hello, this is part 8 of Hard Truck 18 Wheels of Steel on Hard Mode. Well, let's get let's get into it. <laughs> uh, all right. And hey, welcome back everybody. Um, to this is like I said before part 8. So hope everybody's doing all right. It's 2013 world has not ended yet, so, <laughs> I guess that's a good thing, <laughs> still have to pay my fucking taxes, but, yeah, well, you know, you know, really, what can I say, <laughs> anyway, um, so, I think I've, I've done mainly all my catching up last video, so I won't get into that, um, so, anyway, here's the deal, I still got, uh, some videos on, uh, easy mode, I still have to, um, upload for y'all, uh, oh, man, it's probably will take three videos, for all I know, um, anyway, so I still got some, uh, videos from easy mode I still need to upload and then I got these I got to upload and then I was gonna oh, I upload them last uh, let's see I was gonna upload them last weekend but uh, some things had come up so I really couldn't so this is really not a big loss but you know it's like yeah they'll get they'll get yeah. I upload a lot of vi videos and they'll be watched eventually. I've had some videos that have been viewed in a year, but someone's eventually going to get to them. So, <laughs> As like, like I said, I'm not in it for the views. You know, a, a lot, you know, a lot of LPRs are like that. I'm, I'm just doing it because I want to, you know. People are just obsessed with getting fan base and stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the subscribers. I mean, I really do appreciate it. It's just, you know, people should enjoy what they do. They should not be forced into doing something like this just, just to, you know, get noticed, you know. I mean, hey, I can, you know, people want to notice me, that's fine, you know. That's that's cool. Thanks so much for doing that. But also, um, on the same side, you know, it's not on the top of my list. You know, I'm just doing this just to have fun. That's all. So I don't want to steer anybody the wrong way. I mean, I, I do appreciate the 26 subscribers that I have. I mean, I, I do appreciate their support. I do. It's just, um, I may just have different priorities than everybody else. Oh my god, what is up all the traffic on this road? behind the sky. This is bullshit. Come on, would you just fucking drive, please? Thank you. Uh, as you can see, the AI in this game is not the greatest. Of course. Real-time drivers? Oh, please. They'd be flying down this road if this road ever existed. Okay, here we go. Or not, maybe not. I 
I've been fighting this guy all the way down this fucking road. It keeps making me slow down. And I am a trucker, do not like to slow down. You know, this truck really doesn't go that fast, but. Anyway, um, I just recently got me a smartphone. For those of y'all who actually care. Um, yeah, well, oh, it's like everybody has a smartphone now. Not really. Some people are using, you know, getting cell phones that are being paid by the government, which makes no sense. Um, I mean, come on, we're already in national debt. Why the, why the fuck are you getting people cell phones? <laughs> you know? I mean, does that make any sense whatsoever? I, I don't know. I don't get that. Look up assurance or um, wireless. You know, I mean, you'll see what I'm talking about here. There's people over there like on Medicaid, on food stamps, all that stuff. I mean, it's a good program. Don't get me wrong. It's just the thought about it, you know? I mean, we don't have any money. Our, our government has like no money, and they're wasting it on that. How about how about how about this food for thought? How about spending more time and the money that we have worrying about our un unemployment rates and our this fucking inflation that we have to deal with? If you fix that, then we won't. Then we won't have a, uh, you know, then we won't have an unemployment, employment program, you know, unemployment program, you know. So, you know, that's kind of how the whole goal, you know, is not to have any unemployment, but it exists. People are, some people are lazy, and some people just truly can't find a job because they've had... You know, they've had a bad criminal history or, you know, medical problems or something. Now, then they have they have a legit claim, but it doesn't stop them from sitting behind a desk and answering phone calls or something. I mean I mean literally you gotta look at the reality of it, you know. So that's all I'm saying. So the government is way too fucking lenient when it comes to that. And yeah, we're paying almost four dollars a gallon for gasoline. Even though I don't have a car anymore, I had to sell my truck when I came to Houston. But still, I mean, I'm helping my mother out, you know, because she, you know, we share her car. So even it's outrageous for her little little Toyota that she has. It costs like thirty-two bucks each, you know, each time we fill up. So it's like, oh, it's in Montana. <laughs> Helena's in Montana, okay. I, I have no idea what Helena was. Um, yeah. Anyway, random thought. So anyway, as I was saying, so it's still, it's quite a bit of money, you know, to fill up a little Toyota. I mean, seriously. Okay, we're coming on Interstate 90 here. Alright. A lot of damn time, because this thing is getting low on gas. I need to... Um, I need to repair it because he's, as y'all witnessed before, this traffic AI is completely fucking stupid and will, likes to run into me when I clearly have the right one. So, I'm just saying. I run into every fucking thing that's there, you know? Do not run into me. Okay, we're cool. So, anyway, well, it's getting close to my 10 minute mark, unfortunately, so, I'm going to have to stop right there, but, uh, looks like this is going to be a three-parter. Uh, oh. So, anyway, I will see you guys next time for the conclusion of this of this um, hobble to Helena, Montana.
See you then.